intro. I've never been called an expert dancer before. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You're not Is wearing right? really red, are you? Though? Well, I get criticised now because I work in Sky Sports. I can't wear blue, I can't wear red, I can't wear anything. I'm always getting it wrong. I mean, that, that's, but... that's kind of West Ham Claret, that. Oh, God, oh yeah. Well, <laughs> after this <laughs> week... <laughs> I, won't, I won't talk about Wednesday, then. Uh, no, let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> um, do you cook as well as you count? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> um, I, lo I love cooking, actually. I'm, I'm, I, before I came on this, I had to check that you would let me on because there's so many things I can't <laughs> eat. So it forced me to learn to cook because there's so many ingredients that make me ill that I have to make a lot of stuff from scratch. So I, I do love cooking when I get a chance, um, but eating is my speciality. Eating rather than cooking? Eating, tasting, drinking what... I mean, I, I, I love <laughs> well, food. You're on the right show. Yeah. What's food heaven? Food heaven for me, prawns. Mm. The, the bigger, the better. Mm, Since well, I was a baby, I yeah. just absolutely love them. I agree, prawns. I actually prefer oh. prawns to lobster. Yeah. I'm yeah. prawns to everything. Food hell, still seafood, but I'm going for octopus. Mm. Especially the small ones, the ones where the, it's the whole body, you know, the baby <laughs> ones. I think I had a bad experience when I was younger. <laughs> uh, I absolutely loathe licorice. Most things I've grown out of not liking that I didn't like when I was a kid, but anything licorice, perno, absinthe, fennel, star anise, Anything from that horrible. Well, I've got <laughs> here, I tell you. Yeah, I've got a wacky plate and an anseed and all of that. So, anyway, uh, on oh, marinade, red chilies, and coriander crisps. Uh, sounds good. Uh, sounds absolutely mm. amazing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave the octopus to an extra pinch of licorice powder. Why? Yeah, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> if Rachel should have her food heaven <laughs> or food heaven. Adam. <laughs> I mean, I had dinner there last night, didn't you? <laughs> and I almost ordered the tur the. Yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah. You could powder the nori. Yeah. And if you make it at home, slice it as you need it. Maybe. Yeah. Actually, because you never know how long to leave it. No, I think, and I think you're very unlikely you're going to my milk. Yeah, yeah. Of the fish. skirt. So, yeah. No, the skirt, of the fish. skirt of a fish. A skirt of an animal. It's, it's, it's not basically. Under the skin. Oh, and it's, <clears throat> it's a little. Like... <laughs> what percentage butter to potato? Yeah, about 50 50. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's bonkers, isn't it? But... It's olive oil or something like that. Or... Yeah, yeah, it's good. Absolutely. Olive oil, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have... <laughs> I, I do cheat a little bit, I have to say, if there's something really now. good. It's just freshly cooked like that. Mm. On goes the... You get that Incredible. taste, taste nice. like wow. And this is a little bit... Mm. Mm. That from, that. For Christmas. So that, uh, chef, is my... Mm, 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 That's what mm. I'm here for. Right, Adam. Come and join us. You're allowed to taste as well. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. I want to. Luke's right. fantastic. Yeah. This is actually on the menu at the moment as well at the restaurant. Can we go for it? Can we go? What's the protocol? Yeah, I'm not one of those people that, that waits for everyone else. Now, the skirt is the, the little bits there on the side. Okay, so this is going to be. Tom. Yeah, please. Yeah. There you go. And that's the oyster leaf. Right, I'm going to try that. It's really delicious. Nice. Yeah, they're, they are really lovely. So is that chive? <clears throat> it just brings a bit of acidity to it, a bit of freshness. Good. Right, let me go. Mm, that's it's great. You know? Proper, classic. Proper cooking. Yeah. Great. Mm, fantastic. Fantastic. Mm, delicious. Mm. To go with it. Mm, mm, mm. Right, it's good, this huh? is really nice. Nice yeah. breakfast. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I would say I'm not normally awake at this time, so this is the equivalent of about 4 pm for me, so this feels no. normal. You've been justifying wine and How many wine hours and have fish you been awake? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Well, it's a great match. Uh, I miss good edge. I would get down the shops oh. quickly for this one, guys. I'm absolutely. It'll be selling yeah. Out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Really There's a lot of that. acidity in it, works really well with a, with a cream. Well. Great one, yeah. great, great dish. Brilliant, well done, Peter. Bang up. Yeah, so I'm going to be okay with that. And we're going to make mayonnaise and lots of veg starter if you want to show off. A good dish for Christmas, mm. yeah. Yeah, and gluten-free croutons to go on top. Oh, thank you, you very much. <laughs> thank you, you for yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm a Liverpool fan yeah. as well, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Right, I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Lovely, thanks, Rick. And he'll be back next week with uh, another festive treat. Uh, we just saw Rick putting a festive pickle with... Uh, and it's one of your favourites. <gasps> I love pears, which is lucky, because there's so many things I can't eat, but pears for... You know, uh, I've, 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 oops, but no, that's wrong. I have back to this. I want to know more about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm like you. I love, love pears. Sweet and juicy, greatish. <laughs> so I think dairy's gone out the window for the day. So I'm just going to have a bad day and suffer the consequences. Because vegan cheese doesn't quite cut it. Oh right. Uh, a lot of things you can replace, but vegan cheese just doesn't melt the same vegan way. Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese made out of all kinds of nuts. Mm, you can yeah. get. Good. You can get, best, but not. No, you can't get vegan brie. I mean, vegan brie. Sounds... And I know what it tastes like, so I know what I'm missing. So today is the day. I've had enough wine. Keep wines, drinking so that just, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. My food hell. Right. I'm chopping <laughs> chili, uh, drizzle of olive oil, and then the um, it's all going to get baked in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Um, right. Back to you, Rachel. How did you get into your mathematics? Um, I was.
was just a maths geek since I was little. I just always used to enjoy puzzles. Um, so I, I like loads of things at school, you know, art and PE and, and various, but maths. Applied mathematician, so I enjoy the physics of it. Modeling Stop the, it. the well, body. No, it's interesting, <laughs> and I do I do bang my drum to try and get kids more interested. Because, well, that, that's that's great. You know, the stereotype is an old white guy with a beard sitting in a room by himself. But there's so Sounds many like interesting me. jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about me then. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But it doesn't, it doesn't you, you know, not, not all, you know, children can relate to that, Michelle. It takes a yeah, while. yeah, fine, fine. But how did you get the countdown job then? Did you just, you know, was there an ad in the I had it, my auntie had it. Um, I just finished a maths degree, I just did four years, and then I was applying for loads of grad jobs, so it was just one. Applied for it, never thought I'd ever even hear back or that there was a job at the end of it. <laughs> I'd watched it since I was a kid. I mean, it's an institution, it's been on since 82, um, so yeah, before I was born. it's been on for, for years. Yeah, so I just, I'd always watched it. And I, that must have been an incredible interview process, though. Well, I never thought I'd, I'd hear back from them at all. And I went up to, um, I just thought I'd have a good story to tell because I went to ITV studios, which I'd never been near a TV studio and had an interview. And then they took, um, I think they had a thousand or three thousand applicants studio in Leeds, which was just like stepping into the telly. It was so weird. I'd already passed the maths test. This was just a camera test, which was a complete lie. But I bought <laughs> it and it was, you know, I just managed to do the numbers under pressure. I had chili with pears. Is that Love the rule? It. Oh, delicious. Yeah. So good. Mmm. That's the perfect kind of... These are cold cuts. Yeah. It is absolutely... And I love anything that you can prepare mm. and just shove in the oven, especially at Christmas when you're entertaining. Man yes. United. <laughs> yeah, yay! Yes! Uh, how, how did you get into it? <laughs> Um, my dad is from Salford, so he's been going oh, since so he was so, nine right, years old. Okay, so um, I had a Man so United the... baby grow before I was born. All oh, right, yeah. Um, okay. Before anybody asked, my family's still up there. So we filmed Countdown in Salford. It was about six, seven years old. Wow. Um, and it was the glory days of Sir Alex Ferguson. I was born the same year he started, so... You know, my yeah, you're doing dream job. Fantasy football, is that right? Fantasy football and Friday night football. So this year we've got 10 Premier League games on a Friday night. Um, but our next one's, I think, it's Hull versus Everton on the 30th, the last game of the year. Uh -huh. um, and just absolutely loving it. I mean, this to be for it to be my first is, you know, maybe four, five, six teams even that could win it potentially. It is. It is. Um, so exciting. So have we got? Quality. Are we still in with a chance of winning it? Don't be. Could get five we cups this year. <laughs> I mean, it's, I think it's, it's a bit tricky. I mean, I think for you know, that's the aim. If we, if we get a cup, that, I think we should be aiming for at least a cup somewhere. And, and, and win a couple of cups. Right. Exactly. So I peeled that, as you can see. It takes a little bit of time, but it looks so much nicer. So it goes into the pan with used red wine. Or... Uh, no, I wouldn't use your, your most expensive wine, but a, a wine that's... It had to be good enough to drink. Right. <laughs> right. We love spice. Just split it in half, and that means that the flavour will come out of the chip. Is that a bit... Not too, too hot. And then a bay leaf in it, this beautiful pear like. That's what no I love, mm. just heating no stuff up all day. Whatsoever. Now, are you still dancing? Um, occasionally, on holiday. I've got, um, yes, my lovely boyfriend. So, um, yeah, we do love a bit of salsa on holiday, and he's a very good lead before. I played football, netball, all the sports you play at school, um, but never done any dancing. It's, and it's tough, everybody it's, says. It's yeah, really, it's really a, tough. It's their, their absolute muscle. They're 100% muscle, these dancers, and they can just put their leg round the back of their head <laughs> without even blinking, you know, on the football pitch. Mm. Myself, of just wanting to get better and learn and that instant, one day you know nothing, four days later you're dancing in front of 10 million people. Ooh, scary. No, nothing like that, you know. And are you watching the current series? I haven't watched it since Push got voted <laughs> out. <laughs> and Naga, poor old Naga. Um, yeah. Yeah, but no, football's keeping me pretty busy at the moment, but... Um, yeah, yeah and, and plus, to be honest, when I hear that music and the dancing, the, it still brings the fear of life into me. <laughs> Panic. Fear of God. Ooh. Absolutely. There's nothing like it. And it, it was terrifying. So you've got the lovely sweetness, sharpness, um, and spiciness of roast pears. Oh, it's been cheese. Little roasted pears as well, uh, with the uh, walnuts and chilli and lemon. So there you go. Have a little taste what, what of What to go for first? Whatever, That's the only... You wish, it would. Actually, a, a really a sweet wine with blue cheese and the pear would be a, a mm. marriage made in heaven. Yeah, lovely. It's delicious. You just can't go wrong with it. Really nicely in and there. A bit of there. And you should get the lemon, the honey, and a little kick of the chilli in that one. And I don't peel that one, because actually when it's baked like that, roasted, you can eat mm. them here. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. yeah. mm -hmm. the lemon zest. The lemon zest brings mm. great freshness to it, doesn't it? Rachel, at the end of the show, mm. octopus. Uh, I'll leave the octopus tentacles whole. No, thank you. You were right about the blue cheese, though. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's
Rachel, I need to tell hey. you. Oh, terrible, terrible. <laughs> Fastest omelette. It's at her food heaven. Grilled tiger prawns. Or we'll find out at the end of the show. Yeah, <laughs> no, but it's so great. One. Yeah. And this one is. Yeah. We can just <laughs> eat. Listen. Really? Have you never, never ever had never venison? tried? Is it? Is it more? Is it beefy? Or? I really love it. I think it's a great cut. But it's <laughs> no, but you know, people sometimes are. Very Sorry. little fat in it as well, Tom. Yeah, it's very, very little fat. Yeah. Very good for you, yeah. Yeah, we don't eat enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, Poor boys. Gals fans. Yeah, big time, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's rather really like my boxing day. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, so there we go. So, yeah, it's, um, I'm glad to clean. You know, so we, we have to clean. <laughs> Leave it slow, <laughs> And the menu in one of the restaurants? Or not? Yeah. Is it on? Something like in a park. There we have. I think you are going to be pleasantly okay. surprised. Let's try venison for the first time. Yeah, venison for the first time. <laughs> big moment. Let's have a go. Yeah. All about, Go on, Adam, get all in about there. the texture, isn't it, Jeff? That's what you texture. I love the croutons folded through it. I think that's fantastic. Mm. Yeah, croutons give a lovely yeah. So First bit. time for mm. venison, and you're going for it raw. Mm. Mm. You're brave. And cooked for a little bit. I love tartar, and fan. I love. Uh, yeah, that's that's the risky thing, isn't it? <laughs> it is in, it's got more of an earthy taste. It's just, it is distinctive. Yeah, it's good. Well done. It doesn't taste like anything. But the hazelnut mayonnaise anything. is really interesting. I think that's that's probably delicious. Absolutely lovely. Lovely texture of the apple the as well. The, the veg apple. being that size, you get that crunch all the way through it. I think it's absolutely lovely. That's the thing. Very often, uh, tartare, it's minced. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Dish. I think that's yeah. a winner. Right. Very really nice. Lovely. Mm. Mm. My kind of red. Yeah, Your kind of red. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. I think the white and the red, both fantastic. Yeah, well it's done. really good. Yeah, so it's a good match. Very I, happy I, with that. I think so. Light, fruity. Got that sort of gamay. Morgan, but Southern but, uh, Burger. Peter's definitely done it there. Yeah. Say that a couple of legs of venison. Wow. Oh, too dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like listening. What? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, hey, it wasn't. It's it wasn't here. me. Yeah. <laughs> Deary me. God. Oh. <laughs> He's very much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fantastic. I would like to. Um, know wow. Oh, well. That's it. It's delicious. It's that... so simple. We didn't have enough ovens. <laughs> <laughs> so many, many do it. I wasn't brave enough. But, but well, it's so important there. Patties. Yeah. I mean, it is the ultimate Sunday Fantastic. roast. Um, go for it. Fatty bit in yeah. the crust is, is as it yeah. renders down. Yeah. Heaven or hell? Oh, it has to be heaven. Oh, oh yeah. thank you very much. Mm. All right. I've just yeah. got a whiff of aniseed a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. I have. I've got uh, Mark Barnforth is saying, having never tasted pheasant or partridge, I've bought one of each from my local butcher. Any recipes for a beginner? Mm. Pheasant, mm. partridge? Tie it up, roast it through. I think that's one of the best ways to, to eat yeah, the partridge. Basically, yeah. let it rest a long time. No, actually, put some garlic butter. Sweet, I think you got that. Yes, it. Amanda Mitchell uh, wants to know all your favourite stuffing recipes. Oh, it's good. Ooh, just, um... <laughs> Below the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Below the belt. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Sage. Uh, Really lovely. Yeah. All right, you um, Tom? Yeah, if you're at home, get some good quality sausage, pistachio, mm. some sage, and then you've got your own. So much exactly. Easier. Uh, I, I like putting and fold that into your stuffing as well. Yeah. Oh, how to cook a uh, delicious uh, lamb. Down a shoulder, mm -hmm. a little bit of star aniseed. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Isn't fine. Um, some if spice. You've got an adventurous grandma. I don't really think my grandma would. <laughs> yeah. She's it's from great. Salford. She's so just mint sauce. <laughs> right, Jacob. what's it going to be, heaven yeah. or hell? Uh, heaven, please. Oh, heaven. thank you very much. Oh. Good luck with your grandma. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Perfect, because the parsnip is already sweet. I like to put too much honey or anything like that. Honey and a star mm. anise and, and maybe okay. blanch the parsnip beforehand. Blanch it yes, quick. When, if you're going to put, if you judge it by when you put your roast potatoes in, when do you put your parsnips in? Yeah. There we go, but, yeah. done. But all butter. Mm, lovely. Actually quite nice as well. Fur roasted, but you could also do yes. some crushed parsnips. Yeah. No, you can have that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven or hell for you? Oh, definitely heaven. Oh, oh. Yeah. Is, that, is that three? Thank is that a hat trick? I think Omelette challenge, uh, oh, chefs. Yeah. Come on, let's make our way oh, over here. Oh. Right. Omelette or scrambled egg? <laughs> Fancy <laughs> tasting this. Oh, my word. <laughs> See, very good. I'm you guys will remember this one. It does smell like omelette, no. Right. Tiger prawns uh, or hell. Thanks, Tom. I might give them a go tomorrow. Proper lush. Right. <laughs> time to yeah. Right. Time to find out whether Rachel is getting her food heaven or food hell. Uh, for food heaven, I'll marinate. We're going to do a, an onion puree, sweet onion puree. Oh, uh, absolutely yeah, love cucumber and a cucumber dressing. Uh, for hell, this. How can you not like this? Yeah. <laughs> I just. I'm sure you cook it beautifully. It is. Oh. But the texture just.
Do you think I would get it? I, don't, I know you wouldn't get it. Right. <laughs> but you know prawns. I mean, I prawns. Know, it's slow today. Be nice to. <laughs> prawns, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Octopus. Mm, uh, all right. If so, you're cooking uh, it, maybe. Cook the octopus with celeriac, licorice. Which you hate too. Yeah. Licorice dressing and a bit more licorice powder on top. Oh, Sounds yeah. beautiful. Well, Even the smell of licorice. Mm. It's just. Do you have a little whiff of licorice? Mmm. It's just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> just who would, why would people yeah. voluntarily eat that? Well, maybe we'll put a little bit of licorice on the prawns because um, <laughs> yeah. it was never in doubt. Yes. Never in doubt. It was um, 3 0, but. Uh, uh, Adam, prawns. So that's what yeah. I mean. It's a little fantasy octopus. I knew that was. It's a 4 1 win to United. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely. Prawns. So we'll, let's let's get rid of this lovely octopus. Goodbye, octopus. Goodbye, aniseed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get rid of the octopus. Come here, you. What a beauty that is. Are you sure? You don't want to change your mind? No, you can you can keep that. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. It. So tiger prawns. Option. I'm going to peel these tiger prawns first okay. of all. Uh, gentlemen, I need the uh, cucumber peeled. Uh, some of the cucumber trim is going to go in to make some cucumber juice. Yeah. Which will be the base. Uh, balsamic vinegar and some oil. Okay. Uh, onions baked in the oven until it just concentrates the sweetness with a bit of thyme and oil and salt. Get cracking on that and Beautiful. I'm peeling these prawns. So, I'll just stand and watch. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Actually this cook is the great. cucumber, are we? Uh, yeah, I'm going to pan fry the... Absolutely. Goes with delicious. everything. Have you ever had cucumber as a vegetable cooked? Um, no. Marrow is always the Marrow, yeah. Well, marrow... Like... you peel the prawns, I like to leave the... Uh, the end bit, the shell at the end, and then devein them. And so you just pull them out like so. I just wrap these up. Like just baked in the oven, so it just intensifies the flavour of the onion. How long they take in the there like that? How long do those onions take, Chef? Big your bum. How long do the onions take like that? Uh, the onions five minutes. Um, so you, really, you can't overcook them. They, they just yeah. Really. Soft. Oh, with just with anything. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I could just quite happily eat a punnet of prawns. Just, that's it. That's all I need. That's it. So just them out of the fridge. Cucumbers and prawns. It's just delicious. A prawn sandwich. Especially the big one. Oh, oh, a prawn sandwich. Roy Keane would be. I got in there before you before this. Yeah. Prawn cocktail. Oh, I mean, that's the 80s classic, but I could still eat prawns. That's what cocktail. I have for my Christmas dinner every year. Love it's it. Really wow. Turkey soup. Before we have turkey and bacon yeah. and turkey soup, there's, there's a bit of a mishmash in oh, my house. There we go. Look at this, Rachel. The onions. The onions. Oh, what does that, that smell like? like? That smells like. <laughs> yeah. The garlic's missing. <laughs> the garlic is missing. So a little bit of um, grated <laughs> lemon zest is terrible. Oh. Very generous of you to let me on the show this time of year. Yeah. So a little bit of um, paprika. It's quite so often when you're buying prawns, salt. they're frozen, aren't they? Does it make any difference when you? Um, no, you can get very good. I'm going for raw frozen rather than cooked frozen. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Seeds, the pulp. <laughs> Lovely green, healthy juice, which we're going to use for the dressing. Okay. Making it as their own. Ouch. In as well. Yeah, I'm all over that. Sit at the bottom of you, and the boys uh, having a beer. Well, you've got so. three chefs here cooking for you. I know, it's, it's very modern, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd marinate. Right. So. That's it, all you need is prawns, a couple of it. Oh, I think so, just a bit lovely, chili, delicious you prawns. Want. You know, That's the flavour. Of of Mm? Really? I would have quite liked that. I cooked together actually earlier in the summer in a, in a little. Um... Loud to cook octopus. There we go. Did you and cook that them is through? Cooked enough. No, I don't want to cook them through. I want to keep them still raw in the middle. So you've got that. Mm -hmm. These take only a robbery and chew. And how do you know? What's Looking the test good? apart from eating? Big a bump. What's the test apart from eating them? Um, I think if you look at. You look at if, to see if they're translucent. Where's this chilli going, Chef? Here in the pan. There's other one. I'm looking forward to this. And then this dressing, just a talk. lovely <laughs> cucumber juice, and then Dijon mustard and oil. Frying. This is an unusual warmth of the chili, but it's not too aggressive. Right. So, if you're going to put this on a map of where this is kind of originated from. Um, uh, gosh. That, cucumber that's chili good prawns. Yeah, yeah that, that is difficult. I, I'm not sure where where this, this recipe is. I'm sure you're going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> At least I hope so. Right. This is the world traveller's prawns. We've got cucumber, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is, and the texture is going to be fantastic too. Right, a little chilli. Just drain that. Absolutely. It's yeah. just so simple, but you can just smell all those individual flavours. There we go. Yeah, Together. Nice. Right. So what's in Cucumber dressing is, yeah, the cucumber juice, um, a little bit of balsamic, olive oil, and Dijon mustard. Oh, the smell of that. The fried chilli, like so. 
And then we have our dressing. As well, because you've got that lovely Against cool cucumber. Yes, please. So you've got hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And then ruins a little meal. bit of paprika there. Right, that is it. Rachel, dive okay. into that. Straight away. A finest. Nice. And from Tesco. Yeah. Yeah. With that sauce. Really delicious. Very good. Well, the, the, the I mean, chili has got a little kick to it. Yeah. Oh, they go. It's going to be on my menu. The way <laughs> there you go. Oh, right. And the wine is bang on, I think. Thank you so much. Studio chefs Tom Kitchen Cheers. and Adam Byatt. And Cheers. the brilliant Rachel Riley. Bye for now. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.